Hello everybody, Reed with Work Turbochargers again, as promised. A little overview of our 5857 Hot Air Buick upgrade. First off, these turbos are built on an exchange basis, so I do need a core. Finding good compressor covers is not as easy as it once was. If you have a turbo that's already been modified, um, we'll discuss it. Uh, I do have a handful of compressor covers that can be purchased if your turbo has been upgraded at some other point in its life and uh, it's not a not deemed a usable core. Anyway, let's talk about this guy. We have our 11-bladed machine from solid billet compressor wheel. This wheel is 58 millimeter inducer and 76 millimeter exducer. It is a phenomenally quick spooling compressor group. Very efficient. It works extremely well with alcohol injection or E85 fuel. This thing is uh, not scared to run boost pressures well into the upper 20 PSI range on most engines and be extremely efficient. Compressor cover is completely machined in-house to fit the wheel. We remachine all the sealing surfaces so your throttle body seals good. Even though it's built off of a core, the entire center section is brand new. So back plate, bearing housing, compressor wheel, turbine wheel, our 360 degree billet thrust bearing, uh, low drag carbon seal, tool steel exhaust seal ring, all that is new. So all that we harvest off your core will be the compressor cover, exhaust housing, dog ear clamp, and wastegate actuator. This customer opted for our high pressure actuator so it does have a uh, upgraded actuator on it. Turbine wheel. This is our 57 millimeter exducer, nine bladed high flow exhaust wheel. This has basically replaced the stage three that's been around for so long. Turbine housings coated. All the ceiling surfaces remachined for you. Everything again here machined in house by me, assembled by me, balanced, ready to go. Um, what upgrades do you need to run this turbo? Well, you can bolt it on a completely stock car, but uh, you're going to run run out of fuel pump and injector really quick. So just like the, the vulnerable uh, TA33C that's been around forever, basically the TA49 for the hot air, this thing's going to work best with at least 36 pound an hour injectors. A stock torque converter will work, but it does get very, very happy with a, a well-built 2800 stall converter. This is enough airflow to support well into the 550 horsepower range if you've got enough camshaft and cylinder head to support it. So size your injectors accordingly. Boost comes on nice and early. It definitely responds faster than the 33C. All while making more power, less charge air temperature, and less exhaust back pressure. How fast can you go on this guy? I'd like somebody to push it and find out, but I think, uh, I definitely know low 11s are attainable. We, we went low 11s way back in the day on, on basically the 33C. High 10s shouldn't be any problem. Can we go mid 10s with it? I think somebody could. It's a labor of love. Um, I do all these by appointment. As many of y'all know, I am a one-person shop when it comes to all the high-performance uh, side of the business. So everything you see here machine work-wise, build-wise, is done by my two hands. Nobody else has their hands in it. We don't have a lot of pre-machined turbos sitting on the shelf. We like to build them one at a time, give them our full undivided attention. So we can make you the nicest turbo possible. If you got questions on it, visit our website, workturbochargers.com. This unit should be underneath the Buick 
section. If not, I'll make sure it's up in the next couple of days. As of November 2021, pricing is 1050 exchange. So I do need your core. Your core does not have to be rebuildable, but your exhaust housing needs to not be cracked, not machined for anything, any other upgrades. There she is. Rock solid modern day technology for your hot air. Guys, follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Work Turbo. Questions, drop it in the comments below. I appreciate you watching. Y'all guys have a good day.